A sobering story, and it's all new tonight at 6. Driving after drinking is deadly, but it still continues to happen at a very alarming rate. Every day, almost 30 people in the United States die in alcohol-impaired crashes. That's one person every 50 minutes. According to backgroundchecks.org, South Carolina is the fifth worst state for DUI problems, while North Carolina ranking 10 spots behind at number 15. In 2016, there were more than 11,000 alcohol-related crashes in North Carolina, and of those, more than 400 resulted in a death. How Josh Zinner isn't on that list is an absolute miracle. The 25 year old was going through the intersection of W.T. Harris and J.W. Clay when an alleged drunk driver blew right through the red light. NBC Charlotte's Evan West is live at six and Evan doctors told his family he would never recover, but he's been defying the odds ever since. This is a story of survival, but it comes with a cost. The last time Josh Ziner was behind the wheel of a vehicle is right here at this intersection of W.T. Harris and J.W. Clay, and it might be the last time he's ever behind the wheel, all because of one person's decision to drink and drive. This is what the impact of alcohol and driving does. But he'll overcome. All right, Josh, can you wink? Wow, good job. They might be minor milestones to most, but Josh Ziner's mere existence. It's a miracle. I mean, his driver's door was indented by three feet. It happened September 27, 2017. Police say a drunk driver ran a red light going 70 miles per hour, slamming into the side of Josh's Hyundai Elantra. The after photo makes you shudder. That's the call you never want to get. I began to feel sick and my knees went weak and... Everything just turns gray and a blur. It just, your world just stops. His world turned upside down. Josh suffered a ruptured aorta, broken neck, lacerated liver, broken pelvis, ruptured spleen, and worst of all, a traumatic brain injury. Josh is one of eight children, a student at UNC Charlotte, where he was studying to work in an inpatient adolescent center for mental health. Josh is a very creative guy. He's very smart and he gives the best hugs. It's what they've waited for in every second that's passed since September. Between Michelle and I, we were at the hospital 24 hours a day. We and still haven't left his side yet. Josh was in a trauma-induced coma for six weeks. His surgeon said 95% of people wouldn't have made it out of this car alive. His nurses said the brain trauma would be too much to overcome. But the Ziner saw something in their son others didn't. The Lord saved him, and he saved him for a purpose. And we're just seeing the beginning of that.